Hello! I hope you're having a good morning, and for that matter, a great day. Um, today I will be covering Sino's story quest. I find it weird. I find the point in time that Sino's story quest is happening kind of weird to me. You know, Sino comes out, you know, when he came out, it makes sense. You know, his character makes sense that it's there, it's available. But it's kind of weird to me that we're going back to the academia after um, being enemies with the academia for a while now. You know, we're going to do Sino's story quest, which is right after Act 4, which is, it just, it feels kind of off. Like, they've placed it at a bad time, in my opinion. I, I think that the case is that in the future, when we complete Act 5, and maybe even Act 6 of Sumeru, I think that they may be expecting us to then, you know, have the opportunity to go back to Sumeru City without there being any real reason why you shouldn't be able to. I just find it kind of weird that we're allowed to go back into Sumeru City after being such adamant enemies of the Academia, and we're going back to the main city with Sino, another character who is an enemy of, of the Academia. I just find that kind of weird in my opinion. Either way, I hope it ends up being pretty good. I don't exactly know what it's about, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and let's get into it. And if I go select his quest, which I think is this one, um, we're taken to go to the academia. Take a look around the academia. Yeah, we're literally going straight into the academia right after Act 4 of the Sumeru quest, now? which is kind of weird. Only Sino was still around. Hmm. Uh, excuse us, has something happened? Oh, I appreciate the concern, but who are you? Um... We also happen to know Sino. Ah, friends of Sino. Well, I suppose it's not a secret or anything. But since you two are interested, I'll just lay it out for you. Okay. My name is Nabil. I'm a Matra in the Academia. A case involving the smuggling of canned knowledge has come to our attention recently. But, unfortunately, we don't have the people to handle it at the moment. Hmm. Huh? You mean the Academia is short on Matra right now? I'm not well, exactly surprised. Not exactly. Sino's out of I commission, so I guess it makes some sense. General Mahamatra Sino left to go somewhere. It would be a real headache for us to tackle the case ourselves. Okay, Given so the large scope yeah. Of the issue, we talked things over internally and decided that we should find further assistance from outside the Matra. If you two have some time, would you lend us your strength? I mean, I'd be glad to. All right, since you asked so nicely, we'll help. Do you have any? Further intel regarding this case. Yes, large amounts of canned knowledge from unknown origins have been appearing on the market recently. We suspect there's a secret route being used to move the capsules. I mean, I feel like you've According said that some before. According to research, but... using large amounts of canned knowledge could lead to some serious consequences. And, unfortunately, most people have yet to realize that. Yeah. Rumors also have it that some particularly dangerous canned knowledge has made its way into the market. Regardless of whether the rumors are true or not, this case calls for yeah. urgent action. Um, definitely don't want people needs, getting hurt consuming too much knowledge. knowledge outside the city, even as we speak. If you two could, please help us investigate the area. I would be you glad to help. I mean, I feel like I'm, you know, the second best person to do this. Also, it does make some sense now that I've looked at it and heard them. It does make some sense where we're coming from, but still, I find it kind of weird that we're just able to walk into the academia. No if ands, or anything. It's just you're just allowed to walk straight in. That's kind of weird in my opinion, but who knows. Okay, so we're looking for canned knowledge. Um, in high quantities can lead to people meeting a, you know, what we like to call a divine state, which causes them to go crazy. Also, yes, I did see Sino over there, you know, prowling around. Huh? It's Sino. Uh. Keep calling him Sino, not Sino, but 
Ah, it's you two. I knew I sensed a familiar presence. Uh -huh. I'm currently in the middle of an investigation here. Would it happen we'll to, to do some something with canned knowledge? There's been a recent case of canned knowledge smuggling. Yep. It seems that the smugglers are following an elaborate and dangerous scheme. I just happened to acquire some intel which led me here. Oh, so hey, even outside the academia, you, you are someone. Yeah. I you see. still tend to do your well, the situation duties. situation might be more problematic than you anticipated. I've already questioned several people, but gained very little information. Hmm. Long story short. Very secretive, huh? I was able to learn of the secret location where the canned knowledge is being sold. You're welcome to accompany me if you're interested. I am glad to oh, accompany you. That complicated, but having Sino around will definitely make things easier. I mean, it's not uh, that complicated. It's not like we haven't guys. gone under guard, you know, undercover before or anything. For granted, every time that we have gone undercover, it hasn't necessarily been the most elaborate um, schemes that we've had to hide ourselves from. But yeah, so far it does make some sense. It's cool that Sino, uh, still, you know, does his duties even if he's outside of the academia currently. That makes some sense. I wonder if he'll ever return to the academia and resume his got? position. Hmm. Seems even less than last time. What difference does it make? If you see something you like, buy it. If not, then keep walking. Oh... They've been cracking down on us lately, so we don't have much on hand. If you see something that catches your eye, then now's your chance. There's no telling when we'll have more. <sighs> what does the academia think they're doing? All right, I'll take these here. Let me see what else you have. Hmm. I don't see any real gems in this batch. It's all pretty ordinary stuff. Whatever, how much do I owe you? 150k. Show us the Mora, and you'll get the goods. Put the Mora down and your hands up. Huh, it hits Sino! <sighs> When's he ever gonna let up? Never. Hey, this goods. is Sino That's we're what? talking about. But don't forget the Mora! Dun-dun! Not so fast! You can't escape with Paimon on the case! <laughs> yes. What is this? He's got backup now? Doesn't everyone say Sino works alone? I mean, we uh, just happen to be like the looks conveniently this. here. Either way, it's gonna be a tough fight. Any ideas? It's over. It's not like we're making a big cut anyway. I'm not losing my life here. Huh? Did they really just give up like that? I mean, do you really just expect like the them I've to got. put up a They're not fight against the Sino? Circle, just dealers at the bottom of the chain. All right. I have one question and one question only. Where did you get the canned Where knowledge? Where did you get this canned knowledge? Uh, well, uh, the pickup location is different every time. The boss tells us where it's gonna be and that's it. We don't get a say in it. He sends someone every five days to bring us the goods. And when is the next batch coming? I, I, I don't know. He's telling the truth, honest. Normally, we should have received a shipment three days ago, but we didn't get anything. Hmm. The stock we have right now is from eight days ago, which is why there isn't much left. Seems like this isn't getting us anywhere. Hmm. I know exactly why they didn't receive their last batch. Three days ago is exactly when I started my investigation. Oh. I suspect who's ever running this whole thing knew that I was coming. So they cut all contact with these dealers. Yeah, you were, you were poking escape, around and you were noticed. You said something about me working alone. Where did you hear that from? Are you kidding? We've known your name since day one in this business. The boss warned us to watch out and even gave us info about you. But here we are. I guess we never stood a chance. <laughs> they already knew all about me and were trying to avoid being detected from the very beginning. Oh, I see. These small fries are the only ones they leave out in the open. And no matter how many we catch, it won't further our investigation. If only we had another lead. Like a merchant who sells large amounts of canned knowledge. Uh, I wouldn't happen oh, to yeah, know like anyone. Uh, nothing? Hmm. Do you have a potential suspect? 
You'd better bring them to me for judgment. Um, I wouldn't say a suspect. That's right. I won't turn a blind eye on any dangerous suspect. Oh! Uh, sounds like we shouldn't ever let Sino meet Dory. Um, we don't know any merchant. <laughs> yeah, just lie straight to his face. D didn't he say during the story Archon Quest that he was, like, adept at telling when people could lie? I see. Anyway. I'll think of a way to deal with these two and then continue gathering information. If you manage to learn anything, you can find me a caravan rebot. And as for you, I don't ever want to catch you buying canned knowledge again. If you possess any unused knowledge capsules, then you should submit them to the authorities immediately. Okay, okay, I got it. Just keep your nose out of my business. Hey, what's with the attitude, mister? What, you got a problem with that too? Listen, buying canned knowledge is a deal between two people. A buyer, buyer and a seller. And the seller. We don't need people like you button in on our business here. Think about it. If the academia is hoarding something as convenient and useful like canned knowledge, then they must have been planning only to use it for themselves. Am I right? They must have their own reasons. The Academia has clearly published the potential dangers of canned knowledge. I mean, it I can like make you literally go crazy. And besides, I'm sure you wouldn't listen anyway. It's directly tied to the Ermansol. your actions are what fuels the smuggling of canned knowledge. If I ever catch you again, I will personally see to it that you are punished. All right, Traveler. I need to go now. Okay. I don't know how you're going to work with the Academia necessarily when you're working against the Academia. <gasps> against, you, maybe not. You think you can scare me? <sighs> Traveler, why don't we go talk to Dory? She's got loads of connections and might be able to tell us something about all this. Yeah, maybe we should also make sure that Sino isn't... She's usually at the Palace of Alcazar's array. Let's go! Maybe we should also, you know, make sure we're not being tailed by anyone. You know, a certain someone. I mean, so far this quest makes some sense. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I find it kind of, once again, still kind of placed very weirdly, but that's my own personal opinion. I think that the fact that we're working against the academia and so closely to the academia makes us kind of a weird point in time. Hi, Dory. I didn't know you had a full-on wave animation you do. That's kind of cute. Speak with the butler if there's something you need. I see, I see. So that's the latest scoop. <laughs> Good thing you didn't rat me out. Otherwise, who knows where I'd have to be hiding to avoid attention. Of course, of course. Do you know who, uh, who is smuggling the canned knowledge? No idea. Sorry. I've already cashed out of the canned knowledge business. Of course, of huh? course. You mean you stopped selling it? I mean, That's this right. is Dory. With so much canned knowledge flooding the market, it was becoming impossible to fetch decent prices anymore. Besides, it seems that group of smugglers has practically taken over the market. It's a little rule of mine to never fight for a share of someone else's market. If I'm gonna make Mora, it's gonna be the lion's share. Of course, Plus, of course. With regulations getting as tight as they are now, I figured I might as well just hang it up. That's fair. I mean... Uh, sounds like we came all this way for nothing! Well, not completely. Granted, I don't know who's behind all the smuggling activity, but since you didn't sell me out, I'll let you in on what I do know. Oh! After all, those smugglers have really crossed the line, butting their way into the market like that. I hope their luck runs out soon so that I can take over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so that the industry can become more fairly regulated. De definitely hey, not going to end up. You want to make more business for yourself. I mean, she'll just start selling canned knowledge once we remove any competitors. It's, it's her way of life. Um. <laughs> Don't understand. I assume it's very you. lucrative. Think about it. You can gain all sorts of knowledge while bypassing the troublesome process of studying. Naturally, that makes it a product worth a high price. Yeah. Of course, not everyone needs that kind of knowledge, but in a market.
market as big as Sumeru, there is plenty of demand. Plus, the cost of production is relatively low, so even if dealers have to cover transportation costs, there's still an enormous profit to be made. Yeah, I can bet. Also, like, there's always knowledge. someone who wants to know something. <laughs> Being able to gain complex knowledge and become a scholar with the snap of your fingers does sound like a dream, doesn't it? Yeah. But everything in the world comes at a price, right? And a catch, yeah. Everything is, is not as it process. seems. It requires learning, thinking, and practice. Even when it comes to my own business, I have to go through a lot of preparation before I put anything out for sale. Of course. But with can knowledge, one may simply skip all the hassle and get whatever they need to know immediately. That inherently leads to at least two potential problems. Oh. First, you'll accept the knowledge as factual without a second thought, and oh. you'll find it very hard to forget. This means that if the knowledge is flawed, then it'll be very difficult to correct. Okay. And second, excess use of knowledge capsules over an extended time diminishes your ability to think. You'll end up becoming like a library that can only store knowledge. I can imagine how that oh, could be potentially so bad and why they're trying Traveler, to keep it out of the hands of many people. Before. Did you feel any negative effects? Not in any uh, particular way. Of course, using it sparingly is not an issue, which is exactly why I used to sell it. It's just like I mean, how medicine can be used to cure diseases, but can also do harm when overused. It all comes down to balancing the right amount. I mean, that's very much how life the is. Point, there'll be consequences if the sale of canned knowledge by those smugglers is left unchecked. Yeah. And what's worse, you're playing right into their hands by focusing only on the canned knowledge that's oh. made its way into the market. As far as I know, their real purpose is to distribute information about the Court of Desolation. That's where the real business opportunity is. The Court of Desolation? Court of Desolation? has it that it's a site of ruins from the age of the Scarlet King. It's said that with the treasures inside, one can see beyond life and death. But any research of the ruins is strictly banned by the Academia. Oh. The street is that there'll be an auction taking place in the desert. They're auctioning rare can knowledge, some of which is related to the Court of Desolation. Which I can imagine there's a Once lot of lucrative auction, buyers. I began to suspect that all the canned knowledge popping up on the market is just a diversion. I'd wager that their real target is the, court, the of court of Desolation. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Or what's the purpose of hosting an auction for it? Because studying those ruins is not just a simple matter. It requires knowledge spanning several fields. So, if they're aiming to quickly assemble a research team, can knowledge would be the best solution. Oh, I Plus see. Action, chances are they're trying to attract and scout out anyone with interest or expertise on the subject. Oh, on okay. The other hand, no one can say for sure that they will ever succeed in finding the Court of Desolation. So, they might as well just make a fortune while they're at it by hyping up the related can knowledge at the auction. So. There are several reasons why they're doing what they're doing. Quite smart, indeed, but... Okay. right. And now that I've shared all that valuable info with you, it's time to introduce our limited edition desert travel kit. It comes complete with a map straight to the auction location. How much does it cost, Dory? As I said, I also have to make preparations before I sell things, right? Now... Let me consider how much I should sell this for. I've got it! 500,000 mora per gift! That's quite the bargain. We'll even offer a 50% discount for Little Paimon's travel kit. Only 250,000 mora. What? That's super expensive! I mean, this is no Dory, Dory, after all. One. Sino's the one heading this investigation, isn't he? I'll be sure to bill all the expenses to him. All you'll need to do is tell him to go to the Merchant's Guild and pay the bill once the mission is completed. Just, uh, be sure to not send him directly here, though, okay? That would leave me completely in the open. Okay, I'm okay. Sure the former General Mahamatra of the Academia would never leave any debt unpaid. Oh, the Mora. I, I hate to flip the bill oh, on him. Shiny Mora coming, Dory. Get going. If 
Dory keeps at it, we'll be out of Mora. Yeah. And so will Sino. <laughs> Poor Sino. I I feel bad about, you know, just flipping the bill onto him exclusively, but sometimes it's what you have to do. Well, Sino, I just uh made you pay for a lot of expenses. I feel very bad about it, but you know, it is what I had to do. I don't have 75,000 more really just sitting around. Or 750,000. The Court of Desolation. I won't ask how you came by this intel, but is it reliable? Yes, it should be. We also heard that the Court of Desolation <laughs> contains treasures from the time of the Scarlet King. Is that true? Partially. It was a secret place built by a dark sect from the age of the Scarlet Ooh. King. The ruins do contain treasures, but the place is also rife with unknown dangers. Yeah, I can According imagine. According past research, one must forfeit their life as the price of entering. Ooh. They are not some ordinary ruins. So the academia has strictly prohibited any related research. But of However, course. If they are using the canned knowledge as a way to move information and recruit researchers, then I suppose your conclusion does hold some validity. Are there many people who are trying to Regardless, study? We need to go into the desert. Are there many people who are trying to study the Court of Desolation? Less in recent years. Less in recent always years. those who attempt to do so. Both inside and, and outside, outside the, the academia. academia. After all, legends claim that whoever obtains the treasures inside can see beyond life and death. Or even resurrect the dead. Oh, that makes a lot more sense why people want it then. I was like, Though why would you want to just know the about these life and being death? Or slim, they hold tight to such fantasies and pursue them regardless. So Perhaps it's like some continue to research it. Regardless it's a, it's of it being a restricted like a warlock subject. Pact. On top of that, it's hard to track the source of information contained in canned knowledge. Mm. Do you know where the auction is taking place? Yes, I do. Good. We'll go investigate. But before that, we'll have to get rid of these people tailing us. Huh? People tailing us? Are you that surprised? That's right. Let's begin to leave town and see what happens. I'm sure they'll reveal themselves as soon as we make a move. Don't worry. I'll make short work of them. We that will make short work of them. But we can lend a hand too, you know. Yeah, I'm not like... It's not like I'm the weakest person around. Am I just expected to leave? Yeah. I mean, so far it's pretty intriguing, the story quest. Nothing major so far that's out of the ordinary, but... This is, it's a cool idea that, you know, a place that teaches you how to go beyond life and death, similar to becoming a necromancer. It's kind of cool. I find it interesting. I assume that this is the part where we get to trial out Sino. Hold it right there. Heading to the desert, are we? I would think twice if I were you. You. That doesn't matter. All you need to know is that someone wishes to inform you that it's not too late to turn back. Well, I would like to inform you it's nah, not too late to get out of my way. Sad. I've heard a lot about you. You've got quite a reputation. But this time you're in over your head. Unless you turn around right now, I'm afraid that even you won't return unscathed. And as for you two, why bother sticking your noses in trouble that doesn't even concern you? Hmm? I mean, we're here to help Sino. That's right! We won't just sit back and do nothing. Ha! <laughs> Have you really thought it through? You're not just doing this for recognition, are you, Sino? Mm, My employer no? said that he's willing to compromise as long as you just walk away. He could, for example, reduce the amount of canned knowledge on the market. Reduce. I'm sure that would help your investigation appear to be successful enough. Reduce. On yeah, definitely that, not remove. To give you a cut of the profit, so you see, you get both Mora and a boost to your reputation. That's but not exactly why Sino's why in it up. for this Is one. Is that so? Well, I can't think of a reason why I'd accept. I've heard enough. 
Get out of my way. Sorry, no can do. We're getting paid to ensure you disappear. Since you won't turn back willingly, then we're going to have to make you go back. Well, I mean, you're going to try. Ooh, I get to finally figure out, does Neeler's passive actually work if you have five members in your party? I was curious about this, but I had no way to test it. Because, you know, I don't have five members in my party. Um... Well, thank you for telling me the answer is no. <laughs> Not at all. So it looks like I'm gonna have to rely on Sino a bit more than I normally would. I guess that this is a very unintentional thing, but eh, well, it happens. Sometimes you just have character combinations that just don't work. Is there like something I can do to increase the ER? No, it doesn't appear like I can. Alright, that went pretty well. Nothing too much to be said about it. Nothing at all? Yes, yes, I'm sure he will. Let's get out of here! Uh, shouldn't we follow them? I doubt they're they're actually going where we want to. No need. Even if we apprehend them, there'll be little information to gain. Besides, it might also be a trap. They were probably I apologize just paid. for bringing you into this dangerous mess. Just being associated with me will inevitably cause you to become targets as well. That's you fine. You should be careful from now on. Sleep with one eye open. I mean... Wait, hold on. There's no way anyone could sleep without closing their eyes. I mean, uh, Ido does it all the time. You'd be surprised. Anyway, just be careful. Mercenaries are never quick to forget. In their line of work, even a single failure is bad for reputation. They yes, it's also funny, though. They in some dark corner for a very long time. Waiting. For the right moment to ambush you. They'll do anything to keep their prestige intact. I mean, yes, but also you have to understand that in the same right that we have enemies, we also have a lot of friends. So, if they made enemies with us, that would also technically mean that they're making a lot of enemies on their own right. They may not know that yet, but in truth, I'm not someone who you really want to mess around with. Have you encountered that kind of situation before, Sino? Yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh? I was carrying out a mission with one of my superiors. I didn't have much experience at the time. And I let my guard down after we had closed the case. We ended up being attacked by the remainder of the mercenaries. My superior was injured while protecting me and we struggled to gain control of the situation. <sighs> I've become more vigilant ever since, staying alert even while I sleep. I can Ooh. imagine. Who could have seen that coming? I mean... Was he okay? He survived with a fractured wrist. It took two months for him to recover. But luckily, there weren't any further complications. That's good. Last year... He transferred to an administrative role for personal reasons and no longer participates in live missions. That's His name is also Taj good. Rakhani, a very well respected Matra. You'll have the chance to meet him someday. I'm sure I will. Anyway, our mission will be dangerous. I'm already used to such grueling conditions, but I don't want to see you two get hurt. I doubt I will. I'll be Hannah honest. Will stay alert. We'll see danger coming a mile away. Yeah, we're also very experienced in many sticky situations. We've even been an enemy of many governments before, <laughs> so I wouldn't Good. put it past us. Don't worry. It won't be long till we're at the bottom of this. And once this is all over, I'll sweep away any other hidden dangers. I'm sure, I'm sure. I have a lot of faith in you. I'm expected to follow these... I mean, 
<laughs> it's nice that they just give me a fast way to travel there. I definitely think that these are one of the best parts of Simru. All these little teleport points thingies. I forget what they're actually called, but they're very useful. I definitely really like them, and I'm going to miss them when we leave Sumeru. Hopefully, um, future installments of locations have their own ways of improving travel. So, Hike, if only there was some shape for us to cool off under. Maybe we should take a break. We still have a long way to go. So you'll need to hang in there for a while longer. This is not a good place to rest anyway. I'm well aware of this <laughs> feeling. Okay. But don't you feel hot too, Sino? Of course. But I'm accustomed to these conditions. Yeah, when you're just used to it, it's not nearly as bad. Care to share any tips? Paimon's about to melt away. Just try to stay focused. Use your willpower to support your mind. The moment you start to give in is when you'll feel more tired. Take one step after another. Don't let your mind perceive your body's limitations. We must get somewhere safe before we can relax. The way I see it is you just okay, keep on moving. You say so. Just but focus on moving. A safe place to rest. Paimon thinks this is a perfectly safe place to stop. Just look around, it's just sand and desert. There aren't any monsters for miles around. Mine, minus oh, all the scorpions. Where did these scorpions come from? Watch out. Something's not right about them. Oh? More fighting. Interesting. Wasn't expecting this. I mean, we don't get Sino this time, so I can actually use my passive, which is... Something that I wasn't expecting to want to use, but... Whew. Well, Paimon really didn't expect to see those here. I didn't either, technically. Those well, I kind of did, but... See? There are marked numbers on their pincers. Oh, so they you mean that they're... Someone. Yeah, they're connected to the mercenaries who attacked us earlier? Someone doesn't want us to show up at the auction. These scorpions were sent to keep us away. We are surrounded by desert as far as the eye can see. If we were killed out here, nobody would ever know. I mean, this I figure someone would eventually dangerous. figure it out, Good but... we didn't let our guard down. Something's not right. There are no roads in the desert, so how could they know where we are? Hmm. Stay still. Am I being tracked? Here's the answer. It must have planted this on you. Huh? What is it? A miniature tracking device made by the Kasharwar. Kasharwar? I've never heard that location. before. But this device wasn't licensed for mass production. <laughs> Where did they get it? Could someone from the Kasharwar also be involved? Hmm. <laughs> but that doesn't seem right. Why would it be on her? I mean, they, they planted it there. They planted it on the traveler during our fight with the mercenaries earlier. I didn't even notice. It was a frantic fight. It's only natural you didn't notice the device. Also, I didn't get to use <sighs> my Nilu passive. Well, good thing you were able to find it, Sino. Now let's get rid of it. Hmm. No. Hold on to it for now. It might still be useful for us. Let's keep heading to the auction. It would be dangerous to linger here any longer. We could fake them out. Make them think I'm going a certain way and not actually go that way. That's what I think we're going to end up doing. At least. They're back again! My How guess. Many of them are there? I mean, come on, they're scorpions. Yeah. Is it really that surprising that there are a bunch of scorpions in a desert? <laughs> not in my opinion, but who knows? Mm hmm. Oh, can knowledge, I see. Weird. Is this where the auction is? There's nobody here. Yeah, not a single soul. Maybe they're on break right now or something. They didn't waste any time getting here after we defeated those mercenaries. They shouldn't have been able to give any warning of our arrival. 
But even so, they still knew we were coming. Someone here must have been watching the tracker and warned everyone to clear out. Aw, what should we do now? We searched the area. They couldn't have moved all the knowledge capsules so quickly. There might still be something left for us to find. Maybe. Right, let's take a good look around the area. Who knows? Ordinary knowledge capsules. Large amount. Foots footprints scattered about. This. Did you find anything? No, nothing, nothing in particular. of particular use. Only average looking knowledge capsules. It's possible there weren't many knowledge capsules containing info about the Court of Desolation, so they carried those off. But don't worry, I have another idea. You two start heading back the way we came. I will remain hidden here. Come back oh. and meet me here after some time has passed. I'm sure something will come up by then. So, that's why you wanted me to carry on to the tracking device? They packed up in a hurry and didn't have time to carry off all their goods. They won't just leave them here. Once they think we've left the premises, they'll be back to pick up their belongings. We just need to make sure the tracker goes far enough from here to make them assume that it's safe to come back. Okay. Oh, Hyman gets it. We'll but how far is safe? Think, okay, we'll start away and leave this place to you yes and don't worry if they dare to return i'll make sure they stay <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure okay so we're just gonna leave back the way we came i know we're gonna head somewhere completely different backside of our village i guess that makes some sense but I'm liking the twist of the story quest so far. Pretty entertaining. I think Sino's an interesting character. I wonder if we'll ever have a story quest. Or not a story quest, but a hangout quest with Dory. I like that they reused Dory as a character. Found her quite interesting. We've probably gone far enough now, right? Um, we should still go uh a little further. I mean, we can rest here. That's cool. I mean, I don't think that's hmm. necessarily it's wrong. Probably about time for us to head back to the auction. That's Let's fair. Go. Maybe Sino's finally found some leads. Who knows? But yeah, no, I think that Dory could get a pretty cool hangout quest. I wonder, in my own personal opinion, I can't exactly tell whether or not I find story quest or hangout quest more enjoyable. I know that, like, story quests are, you know, more enjoyable for the short term, because their stories are typically a tad bit more fleshed out, but hangout quests are a lot longer, so you get to spend more time with the character. I guess if more characters get multiple acts like they are planning to have in the future, that could be a nice expansion of things, but I doubt that there's a lot of characters who will get, you know, three, maybe four acts worth of story quest. Oh, it seems that he has caught our suspect. Oh, looks like Sino caught someone. So you're the bad guy behind all this, aren't ya? All right, tip him on everything you know. Does he know anything about the important role in the auction? I didn't act immediately when he showed up. Rather, I laid low and observed for a while instead. He is not the primary instigator, but he is most likely one of the more important dealers here. Am I right? Yes, impressive. You certainly live up to your reputation, Sino. If I had any idea you were still around, I wouldn't have gotten so greedy. Huh? Greedy? What do you mean by- Once everyone knew you were coming, all the canned knowledge dealers abandoned their goods and fled at once. Obviously, there wasn't time to pack up everything. 
Since all the goods were just left here unsupervised, I thought I'd use the opportunity to come back and take what I could. You know, free merchandise is good business, but... <sighs> I suppose there's no use explaining it now. Yeah, that makes you a lot of sense. You must know who's manufacturing and selling the cant knowledge, correct? Will you tell us willingly? Or do I need to make you talk? No, no. I'll talk. But before that... Perhaps we can take the conversation elsewhere? If we stay here, chances are that someone will see me with you. That would put both me and my family in danger. Yeah, and that All wouldn't right. necessarily be ideal. Where do you suggest ideal. we go? How about my home in Aru Village? It Fine. Let's head out. You can throw away the tracker now. Okay. Listen, buddy, you better not try to trick us. Come on now. Do you really think I'd try to pull anything under Sino's watch? Seriously, what can I even do? I really like Paimon's voice actor. Sometimes I feel like she really puts in the effort to her roles. Genshin's story is one that will be very, very long. I can't wait till it gets to the point where things are even further along. I'm assuming that this is your kid. Dad! Guests? Uh, hi there. Hi there. This is my daughter, Seeming. She can be a little shy of strangers. I can't blame her. Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. We're gonna have one of these moments. Everyone knows Sino in our business, but let me ask, who are you two? We're just Paimon friends. Is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Paimon is Paimon. To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone operator, working with any partners. When I saw the tracker start moving away, I assumed you had decided to just go back empty-handed. But even though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. You should abandon this investigation. Gonna tell us where is that? Too deep in everything from the manufacturing of canned knowledge to the sales and even splitting the profits. Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. It will be a long and difficult fight, even for you, Sino. And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. If anything, you yourself might even feel remorse. Why are you so bent on putting us out of business. Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. <sighs> Here's some tea, Dad. And for the guests, too. Uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our g Don't mention it. And I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not, I'll buy some more next- Yes, we do. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna go have a rest now. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. <clears throat> Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I was hoping to ask you for a favor. A favor? My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has a relatively weak heart and lungs. Mm. And slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint and prove to be a life-threatening risk. That's why she never really had any friends to play with and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, I was just an average merchant I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. Hmm. The mora was still nowhere near enough. I could only watch my daughter's health deteriorate day by day. Until one day, someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. That's right. With all the mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. Mm. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, 
It's a means of survival. Doesn't mean I you have to, to tell do you something all this illegal so that maybe to you could understand do that, but and change whatever. Your mind. Please stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Oh no. That means that if we prevent the sale of can knowledge, his daughter will Hmm. <sighs> I must get to the truth. I can find someone to help treat your child, but I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. Yeah. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that. But having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. Since you insist on continuing the investigation, you should have a look around the back of my home. You'll find some goods I received just recently. I think everything will become clear to you once you see them. Okay, okay. I mean... Whoa! Look at all of this! Yes. Oh, well, there's even some unique can knowledge. Boxes. To think that this is only one dealer's worth. Small producers can impossibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. Could the academia have a hand in this? I wouldn't put it past them. But such a volume of goods wouldn't be able to slip through inspection. Huh? Look! These seem different from the other knowledge capsules we've seen. Maybe they contain knowledge about the Court of Desolation. I wouldn't yes, suppose. That would make sense. Wait, what's this? Some sort of marking you would have never seen before? Yes. It's a Matra seal. Indicating that the goods have passed Matra inspection. Oh. I started to suspect that someone in the academia might be involved when I found the tracker earlier. But how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the academia was still a mystery. So the someone in the Matra fallen into place. With this Matra seal, goods can leave the academia without undergoing a second inspection. <laughs> no wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that a Matra is behind this. Of course. Even I find it hard to believe. It could be a misunderstanding. I doubt it. Could I ask you for a favor, Traveler? What is it? Since all this canned knowledge came from the academia, then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the academia. If we can enter the repository, we can find out who accessed these files. But, considering my current status, if I suddenly show up at the academia now, it will only draw unnecessary hey, I attention. Hey, I bet, I bet. You'll need to be the one who checks the records. I I'll guess people just don't keep too much track of me. I don't know why I'm able to just slip Look in that. unnoticed. I'm like a pretty I'll big figure in most countries, in except for this one. Although our leads are all currently pointing to someone within the academia, it's obvious that they also have power outside of it. Of course. We can get more information on other dealers from Bahari. I'll stay here and make some preparations. You can come find me any time if you uncover more info. Gladly. I guess I'm going to the academia to figure this all out. I came into this critiquing the timing of the uh, story quest, saying that it was a weird time and I thought they could have, you know, done it at a different time. But honestly, now that I've done the Hello, story quest again. a bit, I definitely How's think the that they've been going? doing... I think that it's definitely at the right time, in my own personal oh, opinion. So I like the timing of everything. All. I hope he's doing all right. He seemed pretty okay. I read the letter and must admit that I hadn't expected things to be so serious. Sorry. Had I known it would be so dangerous, I never would have gotten you two involved. It's fine. It's all right. We wanted to help Sino too. I mean, we are friends of his after all. <laughs> I can tell that he really trusts you. The research files stored away in the restricted repository are far from ordinary. Everything there is essentially about dangerous research that's forbidden by the academia. Of course. Even I don't usually have authorization to enter. But with this letter from Sino, it shouldn't be a problem. Forbidden research. That's I mean... Right. Granted, the academia is very supportive when it comes to research. They encourage scholars to conduct all kinds of studies. However, 
Some forms of research have proven to be so dangerous like the study of step in living and robots and stuff. Normally, after some particular research becomes prohibited, majority of the related files will be destroyed. Some will but be some stored. Some information may be retained as a record to warn later researchers. Such information is kept in the restricted repository, which is heavily guarded. I can bet. Me. I'll show you. Hopefully, we'll find the answers that Sino is looking for. The restricted repository. Uh, sounds kind of dangerous. We'd better keep an eye out. Of course, of course. Okay, so we're putting, we're heading pretty deep into the academia. It is funny that okay. Sino has such an interesting Sino interaction with the higher ups. I suppose we can trust you. You may browse the information regarding the Court of Desolation. Ask me if you have any questions. But I'd suggest avoiding any other research files. Sometimes the less you know, the better. Agreed. Ooh, a secret door. Huh. So this is the restricted repository. I never thought I'd see the inside of it. This is a first for both you and me. All thanks to Sino. There are many who do not openly Sino. converse with others within the academia. But even so, there are very few who I feel could be trusted with a real secret. Sino happens to be one of them. Of course. Even though he's no longer in the academia, I still trust him. And that goes for anyone he trusts as well. The files are over there. Just make it quick. <laughs> I'll try. Just trying to gather clues over... Who would be browsing these documents? Wow. That's a lot of text. Feel free to pause and read it if you want. Um, there's definitely a lot here, you know. I doubt I'm going to read it all. There's a lot to read here. Have you found anything yet? Um, this researcher's name sounds familiar. Huh. It reminds Paimon of Sino's former partner. His former partner? That would be Taj Radkani. But you're not far off. Mortada Radkani was Taj's only son. Oh. What? Taj's son went to prison for researching the Court of Desolation? Why do you sound so surprised? You're a Matra, aren't you? It's just that... They arrested him in secret, so it was never publicly known. All I knew was that Taj's son was taken to prison. It's not just me. I, I bet even Sino didn't know about it. Probably not. Um, is there any way that we'd be able to meet with, uh... No. Him? Unfortunately, there isn't. He took his own life not long after he went to prison. Oh. You've heard about Taj, right? I know Nabil has. Every Matra knows him. I would say he's probably pushing 50 this year, which makes him one of the most experienced Matra. He is a man of integrity and honesty, and has made countless achievements. His reputation goes back a long way now. <sighs> he used to be Sino's only partner. Taj is also skilled with a polearm, so the two of them used to practice together when they weren't out on a mission. I bet. Ah, right. I heard Sino mention that before. But one day, Taj suddenly decided to retire from active duty and transfer to an administrative position. I wonder if it had anything to do with the Mortada incident. Taj was already very well known by the time Mortada was born. So when Mortada came to study at the Academia, everyone had high expectations of him. I bet. He had to face a lot of pressure. Then he had an unpleasant Can't imagine. with his father. But they were eventually able to work things out. Not long after they had reconciled, Mortada was caught studying the Court of Desolation, which is in violation of academia rules. Yeah. <laughs> Taj arrested his son and put him behind bars. He begged for leniency, but Taj wouldn't agree. Shortly after, Mortada slit his own throat with the pieces of a broken bowl. By the time Taj arrived at the scene, it was already too late. 
he never had a last chance to see his son. Since then, Taj has been periodically coming to the repository. He'll hold the files from his son's research with a remorseful look on his face. I guess that's why he chose to move to administrative work. I had no idea that happened. That must be really hard for Taj. I've never heard him mention that to anyone. Oh, that's awful. Paimon feels terrible now. Are you okay, Traveler? Um, you said he comes to the repository? Wait, don't tell me you're starting to suspect Taj now. I mean, you have Possibly. to suspect people. Taj would never do that. I mean, yes, he does have a big reputation and has access to such research, but this is Taj we're talking about. He would never do anything against regulations. Never. But if you claim that the canned knowledge was originating from the academia, then Taj is indeed a suspect. Because Not a big one. he was the only one who could have recently gone through research files about the Court of Desolation. There are so many files about those ruins that it would be difficult to restart any research, since the seven original researchers were put behind bars. It's hard enough just trying to make sense of these files. However, if the files were made into canned knowledge, they could be understood immediately. By doing so, one could restart the research outside the academia without anyone ever noticing. But even so... According to the legends, the treasures inside the Court of Desolation could allow someone to see beyond life and death. Or even bring the dead back to life, right? So maybe Taj is trying to bring Mortada back. It's Though I don't really a believe Taj would ever try to do something like that. I'm just telling you what I know. It's the job of the Matra to find the truth and track down criminals. Do you have any questions? If not, it'd be best if you would leave now. Okay. <laughs> Paimon's kind of confused. What should we do from here? Let's ask around somewhere else. Oh, now that I think about it, Sino suspected that the canned knowledge was coming from within the academia, right? Yes. There's no way so many boxes could ever get through without drawing any attention. Maybe we could try asking people around the gate of the academia and see what we can find. Perhaps. Don't worry, Tosh. I won't let your reputation be tarnished. Alrighty then, let's go ask around. Maybe someone setting up Taj? Who, who knows? I mean, it's definitely a pretty um, deep story, to say the least. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the academia recently? Huh, well, yes, but isn't that pretty normal? I feel the like academia that's consumes fair. so many resources each day. Everything from cooking ingredients, raw materials, even equipment for experiments. It's normal for goods to be coming in and out. Right, but we're looking for shipments with a matra seal. Have you seen any like that? That I'm not too sure of. I normally wouldn't notice whether the goods have any seals or not. Maybe you should ask someone else. I mean, that's pretty fair. I wasn't expecting this story to be so <laughs> depressing as of late. Ah, uh, yes, I think asking a guard is probably the best. Excuse me, have you seen any large action. shipments of goods leaving the academia recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Perhaps you could ask someone else. <laughs> well, that was very not useful. So, someone else it is. How about you? Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the academia recently? With the uh, huh? Matra shield? Why do you ask? I'm just checking to ensure seal? nothing unusual has happened. Well, I can't say it's unusual, but I did notice something. Oh? There's a Kashar Ruar researcher who's been making frequent shipments recently. Dozen of large boxes each time, if not more. Oh! And when I asked him about it, he said they just contained a bunch of old worn out machines. The Kashar Ruar used to often sell scrap machines to traveling merchants, so I didn't really think anything of it. Hmm. But he's been making a lot of shipments lately. There weren't ever so many outdated machines before. And you didn't find that suspicious? Why didn't you report it for inspection? Well, the boxes were stamped with a Matra seal. Why should I bother? Hmm, of course, I did start to wonder about the seal once, thinking that maybe they forged it or something. But you know what happened? 
A man what? named Taj came here and told me that he'd already inspected the goods personally and ordered me to leave the researcher alone. I couldn't question his word, could I? Possible. There must be some sort of mistake. There's no way Taj would ever... Calm down. Calm down. No, I won't believe it. Taj is an honorable man. Someone must be trying to frame him. Wait, I know another Matra who works with Taj. I can ask him to let us speak with Taj. Hmm. I don't know if that's necessarily the road that we want to take, but... <sighs> As I've already told you, I don't have any way to contact Taj. A few Aramites showed up looking for Taj yesterday, and he met with them in his office. I was standing outside of the door, and I vaguely heard them say, found it. Before I realized it, the door opened, and Taj left with the group of them. I noticed that he had also changed into Aramite attire. But Aww. Taj didn't come to work today, so I've also started to feel a little concerned about the whole thing. If you'd like to speak with him, uh, maybe you can try visiting his home. He lives just on the outskirts of Sumeru mm. City. A group of Aramites? I'm thinking that Taj he's definitely really tied to this. All the canned knowledge? As sad as no that may way. seem. Taj is just like Sino. They're considered heroes among the Matra. There is no way that he would... I mean, let's go to his home and have a look. Fine. Looks like there's no other choice. Hey, don't let it get to you just yet. We'll get to the bottom of this once and for all. <laughs> that dude just randomly standing there like, I don't know what's going on here. Honestly, this... This story is surprisingly, like, sad. <laughs> Not like other story so, quests haven't been sad before, Taj's but place. this one's especially sad. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, what should we do then? Do we break in? No, no. Wait, the door's unlocked. It, did Taj leave in a hurry? Hmm. Well, anyway, we're still not sure if he's the real culprit. Probably not a good idea to go in without permission. Probably not, but... There's no other option, though. <sighs> You're right. Even if we apply for a warrant now, we won't be able to do anything until tomorrow at the earliest. This is an emergency. I just hope Taj doesn't mind. I mean, if he ends up being innocent, then why should he care? What's this? It's a paper full of names written on it. Oh, and a map. Uh, Nabil, can you make any sense of this? Uh, yes. This is definitely Taj's handwriting. These papers look like records. These are the transactions between Taj and some other people. From the look of the numbers, the scale of this smuggling case is absolutely massive. The whole operation involves more than 300 people including dozens of celebrities. These are famous scholars, merchants, merc- I have a feeling that Sino might be unaware of what he's up against. There's no way anyone could face such a large organization on their own. Maybe he is aware of that. You're right, that's just who he is. As for the map, it appears to indicate the location of the Court of Desolation. Let's take it to Sino and let him decide how to- Okay. Hmm. I assume Taj that really has gonna... turned on his honor and committed these terrible acts. Then I suspect that he might already be at the Court of Desolation as we speak. Yeah, probably. I, I suspect him, but I also don't know him very well. Maybe Sino will know what to do. Maybe Sino oh, right. will. We'll Who knows? To Sino and see. Let's go. I highly suspect that he is the culprit. I sort of suspected that from the moment that. The moment that he was brought up. When they brought up Taj, I sort of knew that he was going to play some role in the story quest. I just didn't know what role. So it does make sense that, you know, he is the culprit or is tied to the culprit in some way or another. Hopefully Sino doesn't... Well, Sino, what do you make of it? Yeah, hopefully he's not too distraught over it. Taj... It's been a while since I last saw him. From what I remember, he is a straight-laced man. Although he would resort to extreme measures from time to time, he would never do anything against his beliefs. 
So do you think he's the one behind all this? I'm still not sure. I cannot imagine how devastating the incident with Mortada was for him. Nor can I deny the possibility that people can change. Whether it's out of love for his son or for other reasons. We have to see for ourselves to judge him. Or rather, the person he's become. The evidence is stacked against him now. That's right. It's clear it's that he definitely... had a hand in this case. Yet he made no report of it. There's no doubting that. That's he has something to I do with to it. Him. I must ask his reasoning and judge him myself. Time is ticking. Let's go. Let's go. I'm assuming that this is all going to lead up to the domain that is. This is all just leading up to the fact that we're just heading to the court. The domain that this story quest is cycled around. I mean, Tadra's story is a sad one, but a realistic one. I can't imagine the grief he feels, but, you know, everyone has their... The thing that makes them driven to do things that even they don't fully understand. I can't exactly fault them for that. I can't imagine that this is gonna have a happy ending. Knowing how sad it's been up until now, but... Here's hoping that there's something that is good that will come out of this. I'm assuming that I'm going to be equipped with the Sino, so I'll be honest, I don't exactly want to run my main team into this domain. Wow, look so at that, a Sino. Are there really any treasures buried here? Oh, Paimon's kind of nervous. Could it be dangerous? Don't worry, you'll be safe with me. I mean, it probably is very dangerous. That's the whole reason why we're trying to keep it out of the hands of most people, Simon. Surrender. It is kind of weird having my main damage be on the fifth slot, but I can't exactly imagine this having a good ending. Definitely seen better days. Was there some sort of fight here? Let's keep going and see what we can find. I mean, maybe there's something else. Take it easy. You know, secretly being hidden here. Oh! And I can't exactly say it's a unique gimmick, but. Oh, is it just Paimon? Or did that passage we just rotate? It's not gonna start moving again, is it? Uh, either way, we should be careful. I suppose that that's the whole gimmick of this little domain gotcha. here is that the walls may move. The walls and floors may turn, but they'll lead us to the final spot that we're going towards. Please don't. <laughs> I'm gonna close my eyes because I have horrible motion sickness. Um, I'm prone to horrible motion sickness, especially with rotating things. I can't, I can't stare at this for long, I'll be honest. I mean, it's really cool, but... Am I expected to climb up there? I suppose I'm supposed to rotate it now. Now that there's an opening. Once again, my brain. Oh no, oh no, my... <laughs> Poor innocent brain. Uh, I can't imagine they think they were thinking too much about Busted. the people who had experienced Illusion horrible shattered. motion sickness witnessing that, but Nowhere to run. I just, I can't stare at it for long. I mean, overall, this um this story quest has been one of the better ones. If I have anything else to go by. They're normal good standards. Anything gonna happen? Or is the door just opening?
I know it's not a cutscene, but still. It has so much emotional weight. Ah, Sino. It's been some time since I've seen you last. I trust you are doing well. Seeing that you've made it all the way here, you must be on the cusp of wrapping up your investigation, I presume. Hmm. Even faster than I expected. Is it because you have some new partners now? That's right. This case is nearly closed. But the most important answer still eludes me. Was it all your doing? Smuggling the can to knowledge? The research I, I, I of the I can court turn of desolation? My now. <sighs> the yes, scenes are it all was gone me. now. Then explain why. That's the difficult part. Let's just say I've changed. I've become a selfish coward who only wants to pursue his own interests. I find that hard to believe. Oh, really? Way I see it, every person will end up like me sooner or later. When you're young, you press forward, unattached, living solely for the justice in your heart. But as you begin to age, you start to become more cautious. You know many things are wrong, but still turn a blind eye to them. I was the same. I never questioned my actions until Murtada died. I could feel the justice that I once strived to uphold slowly crumbling in my heart. I was completely dedicated to all that I did, but as I grew older, I found myself feeling alone, miserable. Can you imagine what it feels like to not have the will to live, but not be able to die? <laughs> I can. Murtada was sent to prison by my own hands. I set myself on this painful path. My son hated me till the day he died, and now I must live with that pain and regret. I failed him as a father. But now, now I have a chance to make it right. A chance to reunite with him. The well, what are you willing to pay for that? Here lies the key to overcoming life and death. The power to even bring the dead back to life. So, did you already find what you needed here? <laughs> See this door behind me? Behind it lies the treasures that I seek. I'm so close, Sino. If only you hadn't arrived now, I could already have... Enough conjecture. What has happened is already part of the past. You cannot bring the dead back to life. Or more, you shouldn't. In the end, the treasures you seek are nothing but myths and legend. Since you're so sure, why don't you just let me open the door and see then? No. I sense danger behind that door. There will be dire consequences the moment you open it. I beg you, as an old partner, can you let me fulfill my last wish just this once? Even if it means it goes behind Surely all of your morals? Now. Doing your job without mercy will only drive people away from you. I'm the prime example. I don't overthink things. If there is only one way for me to defend my principles, then that is the path I will take. Seems there's no convincing you. All right, then. Let's see if your polearm skills have improved at all. Okay. This there is no is Oz, repeat. Gotcha. I didn't even get to do my full combo. You're so strength. sad. You feel it, don't you? I'm stronger than you remember. I gained new power when I entered the Court of Desolation. This is only a taste of it. Once I open the door behind me, this power will be complete. Even life and death will have no grip on me. Uh-oh. We have to stop this guy- I won't let you open that door. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm afraid it won't be easy to stop me now that you're injured. Or are you ready to sacrifice your life for this? I'll do what I have to. 
<laughs> I still remember when we first became partners. You were always charging forward and putting your life on the line. Just like now, even after all this time, you still haven't changed. You haven't changed either. You left that list of names and map in your house on purpose, didn't you? You wanted me to be able to find you here. All of this was just part of the act you were putting on. What happened just now was also part of your plan. You might have fooled those on the list. But you will not fool me. I had my suspicions from the beginning. But I couldn't be sure until we fought. If he really had changed, your fighting style wouldn't be as it was before. Huh? What do you mean, Sino? He never planned on opening the door. His true intention was... To die here? Uh, what's happening? Seems our time is running short. Let me make this quick then. After Mortada died, my spirit was crushed. For a long time, I was hoping this reality was just some terrible nightmare. I hoped I would just wake up and be able to see his smiling face again. That is when I was approached by someone who wished to collaborate and find the Court of Desolation together. I did some investigation of my own and discovered they were part of a massive organization. People from every walk of life are involved. They are relentless in their search, pouring countless mora into secret research, even sacrificing lives in hopes that the Court of Desolation would appear. No wonder banning the research wasn't enough. A full-scale operation was already in motion. I'm a flesh-and-blood human like anyone else, so I obviously hesitated and considered it. The thought of bringing my son back tugged at my heart, but in the end, <laughs> I came to my senses. I knew that I could not let myself go down that path. I suddenly came to a realization amidst my suffering the Cord of Desolation, a place that once drove people to tragedy, was still doing so even centuries later. As long as this place exists, people will recklessly seek it out, just as Mortada did, generation after generation, regardless of the cost. Let it be buried beneath the sand forever. Once the Cord of Desolation is gone, there will no longer be anyone obsessed with seeking it out the damage to the walls we saw on our way here that's right i acted as if i had abandoned my convictions just so that they would cooperate without raising any suspicion this was the only way i could find and destroy this place but that the place wasn't that took your son away from you i could trust from to you. bring the organization to justice the one the academia forbids the research of the court of desolation so they would never approve my plan in the first place of course not to add to the problem the organization is so powerful that they even have members working within the academia I'm not surprised <laughs> if i wish to destroy the organization i couldn't just count on the academia alone so you pretended to be the one behind all this as a test for me <sighs> Yes. I'm sorry, but now I am assured. You haven't changed at all. You are still as you always were, fearless, and making no compromise. Anyway, this place is collapsing. You must leave now. Wait! Aren't you leaving too? No. There are still loads of bad guys to catch outside. Hi, Mom. His fate is already sealed. There is no life left inside him. He is like a candle with no more wick to burn. <laughs> to open up the court of desolation, one must sacrifice their own life. He planned it all from the very beginning, didn't you? Risking being treated as a traitor to collaborate with them. Sacrificing your own life to open and destroy the court of desolation. Hmm. Regardless. I made a grave mistake by allowing the smuggling and the research of this place. Let this be the final judgment on myself. I was always so busy with work 
that I never made time to fulfill Mortada's wishes. <sighs> Finding this place was his biggest wish. Since I'll be reuniting with him here, I can only hope he won't have anything more to hold against me. I'll leave all those people on the list to you. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused. There's nothing to be sorry for. We are partners. If you see Mortada, send him my greetings. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> Dad, why are they so strict with me? I'm always the only one who gets in trouble. Just leave me alone! Don't worry, I won't damage your precious reputation. All right, Dad, let's start over. By the way, I finally found an area of research I wish to pursue. Why can't you show even a little leniency? <laughs> Why? Because we are Matra. Huh? The Court of Desolation has... It's disappeared. Just as Taj said, that place had caused too many disasters and tragedies. Damn, I wasn't expecting this story quest to be so depressing. What about the organization? To them, as long as there's Mora to be made, they will disregard the Academia's rules, whether it's the Court of Desolation or anything else. Their only goal is to make massive profits off of dangerous research. Taj may have set them back with the Court of Desolation, but... It won't be long before they continue searching for another target. Of course. That's an opportunity that I will not let them have. We'll help too. Thank you. But you've already done enough. Just leave the rest to me. I will bring them to justice myself. Besides, I promised you that I would sweep away any potential danger. So, that's what I'm going to do. Wait for me a caravan rebob four days from now. Okay, okay. We meet again. Thank you so much for all your help. We meet again. Nabil, what are you doing here? Convicts from the desert are being escorted through caravan rebot, so I'm here to keep an eye on things. And this should be the last group of them, so I'll be heading back to the academia once they're cleared. What's the situation? The last few days have been quite the ride, but fortunately, I can say with confidence that this case is finally coming to an end. At first, the mercenary groups on the list were putting up quite a fight. They made several desperate attempts to cover up the truth. However, word is that someone crossed the desert and took out their main camp overnight. <laughs> After that, I wonder who that was. On the list started to put pressure on the higher ups within the academia. Everyone was on edge, and the case came to a standstill. And then I well. Then we received word that Taj Rudkani had sacrificed himself on the case. The news really stirred up the members of our ranks. The Matra then moved together against the enemy. We cleared out the traitors from within the academia and arrested all the researchers on the list. Some That's of them wonderful. Some to get out of the academia, but still failed to escape. The scattered criminals were captured all across Sumeru by the mysterious person who had defeated the mercenary groups. I even heard that someone was about to escape to Fontaine, but was still apprehended just at the border. Having more than 300 prisoners apprehended for interrogation has definitely shaken things up recently. I can imagine. That's the end of it. Catching everyone on the list means no more smuggling can knowledge and no more victims. Maybe we should inform Dory. Uh, it was a lot of work, but Paimon thinks we accomplished something <sighs> big. That's right. Thanks again for your assistance. As for the mysterious person who hit the mercenary camp, that must be Sino, right? He's the only one I can think of who could accomplish such a feat. I'd assume so. Speaking of which, have you been in touch with Sino these days? I think I just saw him when I was on watch nearby. He was walking with someone I didn't recognize, and then before I knew it, they were nowhere to be seen. Huh. If you happen to see him, please send my regards. 
Of course, of sure course. Thing, Nibiel. You be careful too. Don't let any of those bad guys escape. Don't worry about me. If anything happens, you can find me at the academia anytime. Farewell then. Farewell. Farewell. It had to have been Sino, right? <laughs> and Sino's probably sitting with Tenari? Is that to Tenari? Bring 300 people to justice must feel pretty exhilarating. But I can assure you, this is certainly not the best solution. I'm aware. However, I learned something unexpected during interrogation. Apparently, someone had enticed Mortada Radkani into becoming interested in researching the Court of Desolation. Mortada had lived in his father's shadow all his life. Naturally, he wanted to conduct research that would seem groundbreaking and significant. After Mortada died, the organization tried to use Taja's shame regarding his son to add him to their ranks, toying with others' minds, treating lives like dirt, and doing anything for their own interests. <sighs> this makes me angry. They were using Fine, people like pawns. This is a type of trap I've been working on which uses plants. Here, take some just in case you need them next time. If thrown into the mud, the trap will grow rapidly and disperse a pollen that has a paralyzing effect. I don't have much use for the traps these days, but maybe you will and can help me collect more testing data. Sino! Tainari! It's good to see the both of you. Oh, so Tainari must be who Nabil saw earlier! Are you also here to see Sino? That's right. Sino asked me to collect some medicinal herbs to treat a girl named Simin. Oh! I also dropped by just to check for any That's injuries. great. He seems to be fine That's a good ending. he looks a little more lonely than I remember. And Sino, relax. You don't always have to look so serious, you know. Why don't you play more Genius Invocation TCG? Kale has always been a little wary of you, and your stern expression certainly isn't helping. How is Kale these days? Good question. She's grown a bit taller, but her grades could use some improvement. Uh, she still made many mistakes on her last test, even after I had marked all the important content in the book for her. Her condition seems to be improving lately, so I plan on having her go outside That's more. That's good. It just so happens that I have something she can help me with. Huh? Huh? You mean Kale is leaving a video forest? What happened? I've asked her to host some ad hoc lectures to teach the dangers of canned knowledge. Oh. As well as how to use it safely. Although we've apprehended all the criminals behind the recent smuggling case, there are many people who are still curious and seek after canned knowledge. So I decided to ask her to work on increasing knowledge and awareness on the topic. Please be sure to keep an eye on her. I will. So, so we all know if what canned knowledge happens, is like a metaphor for, right? Vidya Forest. Right? Take care. We, we, we all know that canned knowledge is I've like those who were stand in for drugs. Secret. Even if some or anything illegal ever, fingers, they wouldn't know that you were involved in the case, so you can relax. But what about you, Sino? It's still not time for me to rest yet. Those who died have fulfilled their wishes, but those who are alive must continue pressing forward. I've been thinking about what Taj said in the Court of Desolation these last few days. His words were not empty. People do change, and no belief can completely resist the erosion of time. I just hope my own change will come slowly, so that I can press on a little further. That way, those who see me as their superior, and those who are following in my footsteps, will learn courage from my example, just as I gained courage from my own superiors, and my partner. Sounds like a lot of work. I'll be fine. I'm also enjoying my chat with you right now, you know. There are many things I feel better about once I start to talk about them. I'm many sure. People want to go to the I'm very much the same way in that regard. Taj, but I didn't share details with anyone. I'd prefer to avoid revealing the location of the Court of Desolation. One day, I'll gather some flowers that grow in arid desert conditions. And then, I was hoping you'd join me. 
in planting them on the remains of the Court of Desolation. I will gladly come with you. Sad ending, I suppose. But overall, I'd say it was a good story quest. This has got to be one of the best story quests that they've released yet. I know that they definitely improved their standards for storytelling overall, in my opinion. They did a lot of work. Whenever people complained about Inazuma, I feel like they took a lot of those complaints and, you know, critiques to heart. I feel like they genuinely put a lot of effort and time into becoming good writers. This story was sad. It was a truly tragic story, you know, having to do with all of the deep topics that went into it. It is pretty obvious that the canned knowledge was a stand-in for anything that we consider illegal nowadays. Drugs is the easiest one to be, you know, directly drawn to, but it's definitely a hard story quest. You know, it, it hits home in a lot of remarks, and I genuinely thought it was a good story quest overall. Would I, I, I'd rate this a solid, you know, a <laughs> S tier, depending on the circumstance and future story quests, but definitely one of my favorites overall. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. But yeah, I think I'll be calling it here. It, it was a fun ride. Some good stories, really sad topics. I, I don't know if there's much more to be said though. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Love you guys. And goodbye.